Hello, my name is Emma, and I am the Library System Support Tech and Young Adult Coordinator for the Lexington branch of the Davidson County Public Library. I also do Tech Tuesdays um, from 2 to 4 in 30 minute increments. Um, normally, you would call ahead and reserve a time, and you could bring your phone, your laptop, a tablet, and any kind of tech questions that you have, um, I try my best to answer. I have yet to come across something that I have, that has stumped me, not to toot my own horn, but just, you know, so, but, so, I, it's basic. I don't, I cannot rebuild a computer, but I can help you out. So, and if I can't, I will try my hardest to get the answer. So, with that, we are going to go ahead and start by going into the web address, the web, the address bar, the, and we're going to type in Facebook, and we're going to go here. Okay, and I had tried to create an account earlier, and I had the email wrong, so it keeps wanting me to go there. I don't want to go there, so um, we're going to hit log out. Okay, log out. All right, here we go. Now we're in there. Okay. Just to show you again, we're going to do facebook.com. There you go. Okay. I tried to create one earlier and I got my email wrong that I had created for you guys. So as you can see up there, I have it up there so that I remember I kind of switched two numbers around. Anyways, so as you can see here, when you first log in, um, that will not be there because there was none. Okay. This is what it's going to look like when you first go onto Facebook and you don't have an account or you're not signed in. Um, so we're going to just create an account. I'm going to use my email address I created with you guys so that I can get in there. Okay. And you'll I always like you to do this. So we're going to do this again. And then I'm going to create a password. Um, okay, we'll just change this to 93, and then I'll say I'm a female. It doesn't really matter. Sign up. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what it's going to do, I'm going to close this right here, is it's going to ask for a code. So they're going to verify that this is really me, and as you can see, in my inbox, there is my code, 14921. So, we'll put that in there, 14921. And we will hit continue. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All righty, so voila, I have successfully confirmed my account with the email, and I will use this email address to log in. Okay, so it will send you there. So this is what you see when you first create. This is like, I guess, the dashboard. Um, you will see <clears throat> your, this is always going to be up here. It's your profile. So no matter where you go, that's where you're going to go to click on your profile. So, um, this is the welcome page and, um, there's always little extra little buttons up here that I will show you what they do. I will also be adding in all that stuff. And then they have some other things down here explore. So, um, and we'll get into more of that. So usually, um, no matter what, Normally when you're on here, this is your news feed. Um, so this is where you will see uh, what your friends are posting um, right around here. And you will see where um, any kind of like, if you like a certain page, whether it's a certain news page, you will also get a lot of ads. So keep in mind, you will be bombarded with those. But I'll show you how to navigate through that. So then we're going to build up on each one. So. I'm going to go ahead and on the next slide, I'm going to show you how we're going to um, update our profile because that is something that everyone wants to learn. So I will see you on the next slide, y'all. Okay, so the first step after you've created your account, like I said in the previous slide, is we're going to update our profile. So on your dashboard, you can either go right here you can even go right there. Um, there's just two ways to navigate yourself back. Like I said, this page right here normally be the news feed. 
um, and we'll go through all that as we build our Facebook profile. So we're going to go here. Okay. So this is what your profile page will look like. Uh, this right here is your profile photo, and this is where you'll add a cover photo. And, um, you know, we'll go through and edit. Um, when you're on here, though, this is your timeline. So everything that you post, you can always come back and look at. Or every time someone posts something to your page, you can always come back and look at it here. Um, these will be, show you where your friends are at, as you can see, no friends yet, uh, but we will. Um, any kind of photos that you will be uploading um, will be on here, as well as sports and music and movies and just all this information about you, you know. Um, so, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload a photo. You will click on the camera and click upload photo. I've already got one saved. It's a cute golden retriever puppy. Oh, okay. So we're going to move this. Um, you can add a description if you want to. Hey, look, it's a golden. Okay. And then we're going to scroll down. Um, you can make it temporary. You can set, um, if you had another one, so like if this was like for something special, um, you could time it to however long you want to be on there and then it'll automatically switch back. Um, but we're not going to make it temporary just because there's no reason to. So, um, nope. Okay. And also, you know, these, this right here, every time you see this, the, the, the world, um, that means that whatever you're posting is public. So if someone was to be searching and they come across your page, everything that has this right here means, hey, they can see it. And we'll go through all the privacy stuff as well. So we're gonna hit save. Takes a second, takes a second, and then, oh, look at the puppy. Okay, I really am just into retrievers. I would like to have one one day. Um, might hear my dogs in the background I don't know okay so there we are um, okay now we're gonna go to edit profile we want you know people to know about us so describe yourself and this is where you'll basically we're gonna add sorry I'm I'm used to actually using Facebook on my phone or tablet I don't really ever use um, a laptop or a desktop to go on Facebook so you know we'll work together on this so just um, 101 characters is all of the let you type in um, and so you can just you know type in whatever you want to type in we're just gonna do that and hit save you know just something's in there okay um, or you can skip it if you want to but we'll hit share now okay and then you can update um, all of your stuff, wherever you work. Um, you can add high school, college. These things are great because uh, this is how people can find you. Um, like I said before, um, a lot of people have the same name um, and sometimes they don't use their face as their profile picture. And so it's kind of, interesting to say okay well I don't know who I'm in between two profiles I know that so-and-so works at this place and here I have it now um, or your high school or your college and you can search for people as well and people can find you this information so it, it really honestly depends on do you want to be discovered on Facebook do you want people to find you um, and that's an important question that you have to ask yourself um, because you are basically on a social networking site and you are opening yourself up. And so those are things that you can add. Um, I'm not going to do it right now because I don't need to. Also your relationship status in your hometown, you know, things like that. And then, um, honestly, I have never, okay. So you can feature photos. Uh, I don't, I don't really ever use that, but um, if there was something here, I could feature it on there, but I'm not going to really worry about it. Maybe there's a special photo that you want on there or something, but I, I 
normally keep mine pretty generic. So there you go. Um, if you click there, it'll actually kind of edit everything and then take it out. And let's see here. Um, okay. Oh, look, today's my birthday. Oh, okay. So, and then we're going to add a cover photo, which is the same way as you do on there. So, let's try it again. I think I went a little too fast. Add a cover photo. You can select a photo. So, if you already had photos on your profile that you have already saved, you can go through and, and find one. So, we'll hit that. And then you can drag it down. Oh, puppy. Okay. Save changes. All right. So there's that. And then I thought I had edited your profile. Let's see here. Where did I put my bio? I did. Okay. I just want to make sure. And so there you go. You have your profile photo and your cover photo. It's kind of like your own little personalization. So now what we're going to do is we are going to find a friend, find friends or search. I actually have someone in mind, the Davidson County Public Library book bundle. So let's see here. Okay. All right. There it is. Okay. So we're going to go over here. You can see they work at Lexington Public Library where they live. So you can see that you can hover over and get... You know, well, that's the Lexington page. So we're just going to hit add friend. I want to see these little dots do. I don't, okay, send message or send money. All right. Don't send money through Facebook. <laughs> add friend. Okay, so now you'll see that a friend request has been sent. So uh, Jen, who works as a bookmobile, will get the friend request. She will accept it. And then um, we will go from there. I will... Um, See you on the next slide when she has accepted it. Um, okay, so we are gonna go now and see if our friend request has been accepted. So when you log on to Facebook, this is the what you'll see the dashboard, the newsfeed page. You can post, you can post a video, you can tag a friend in a comment. Um, you'll you can add a story. It's it, usually stays on for uh, 24 hours and you can like do like a funny little thing or share your thoughts or a picture and it scrolls up on top and people can see it um, I will sometimes view my friends stories so anyways you'll just kind of scroll down it will have recommended posts which right now that's all we're getting due to um, not having that many friends but anyways so up here right here it says friend request that's where you're gonna see if anyone has sent you one there'll be a notification um, if someone has accepted it you can you know and it'll throw people you may know on there as well so ah, okay send us right there so here we are on the bookmobile page we are now privy to whatever she has posted that she allows us to see you can tweak your posts that only you can see it or you can you can actually you know, really, you can edit who sees your post, which is kind of nice if you, you know, let's say you're having a surprise birthday for somebody and they're on your friends list and you don't want them to know about it, you can edit the, the post to where they cannot see it. So, you know, you can have everyone else get together and comment on what they're going to do, you know. So here it is. Um, we're friends. We can message, um, which I've already done. Hello, you know, that's how it will look if you send a message. Um, hopefully she'll respond back. <laughs> so anyways, um, we'll close that. On your phone, it's going to appear as this little circular um, icon. And you'll just click on it and talk to them that way. Another cool thing with Messenger really quick, since we are friends, I um, wanted to show you this. Okay. So, oh. We'll go back really quick real quick when you are on your um, messenger you can see message requests so sometimes people might message you who are not friends with you and it will kind of it'll go here so you can kind of see if you want to respond or not anyways so 
really cool thing, and I think it's important to point out now, is um, these two features with Messenger. You can call somebody if you, you know, have internet access or data on your phone or on your tablet. You can call someone. Um, it'll just be voice, or you can video chat with them. And I wanted to show you that because I think that's an important thing right now for all of us um, with a lot of the distancing is that we can't see each other. So this is a cool way to kind of get together if you have a book club or, you know, a, a group that you would hang out and do things with that you can't do stuff with right now. You can just kind of get together and um, hang out. I saw a really cool thing where you could do like a girls night. I thought that might, might be fun to try. So something to keep in mind um, while navigating through Facebook and all that. So I'm gonna close that. And we are going to, um, that's another thing, I um, wanted to show you this because I'm going to unfriend her. But if you don't want to s see what they're posting, um, you know, you don't want to hurt their feelings or, you know, whether it's due to, you know, just somebody that you feel obligated to be friends with, but you don't want to upset them, you can unfollow. So you won't see anything they post and that kind of, it's a very important feature. Um, so anyways, now we will um, unfriend and we'll hit OK. All right, we are going to make a post. Create a post, write a post, make a post. So when you first are on the homepage, when you first go on the app or the um, web page, you'll see what's on your mind. And this right here, create posts, is where you're gonna make a post, whether it's whatever you wanna put. So you can also upload a photo or a video. You can tag friends, you know, um, if it's an event and they're all you're all there together or something funny and you wanna include them, you can do that. You can um, include how you're feeling, if you're celebrating like someone's birthday, all that kind of stuff just to Kind of tweak it and make it as special as you want. You can check in um, if you want to display that you're at a restaurant or a place of business. You can do that, or at a you know like a, a venue. So we're just going to type something in um, and share something on our mind. So today is. Beautiful. My B is not working. Okay. Let me go over here for some reason. B is wanting to stick. Okay. Today is beautiful. And then we're just going to hit here. Like I said, you can either share it to your story or your news feed. Your story just kind of rolls across, stays there for 24 hours. So we're just going to, um, you know what? We're going to do our story and our news feed just so you can kind of see. And, you know, like a reminder, you can always tweak. The privacy of how you want this to post uh, pretty self-explanatory public just your friends um, friends except so if like you don't want someone to see or if you just kind of want to put it on your page but you only want yourself to see it so those are different options um, so we'll hit post and then there it is okay so there is a story archive so and we'll just hit okay so I think it's no because we share our stories. So here's your stories, like WXI has one right here about the hurricane, and then we have that. And you just kind of click on it, and it will just scroll through. Um, there you go, and then there's yours. Oh, you were kind of like that that background. I didn't know it was gonna do that, but that kind of I'm digging it. Okay. So we're gonna exit out. All right, now we will. I will show you how to share a post on your Facebook page that is from an, another web page. So if you're like reading an article or watching a video, something like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to share a post on Facebook. I'm gonna go up here to the tab and I'm going to go to Google News. So you're scrolling through the news, reading your morning news reports while drinking your coffee and you, or if you're on 
your phone, just scrolling through, it's fairly similar with sharing on pages. Um, so you're just, oh, you know, reading through the news and, oh, six healthy foods that may not be quite so good for you. Okay. So you read and you decide that you think that you want to share this on Facebook. So, wait for the page to load. Okay. Normally, sometimes um, the share button will be around here. It'll usually say, sometimes it'll say share, or as you can see right here is the share feature. There's Twitter, Facebook, um, WhatsApp, an email if you want to send an email, and if you want to comment. Okay, so um, sometimes, real quick, it'll be going down the page, and it'll be the same thing. Just look for either the little bird or the Facebook symbol. So you'll click Facebook, and it will bring you to your share page and you can decide if you want to share it to your newsfeed which is what I showed you usually when you first log in that's what you see um, your story which is um, like a, it's a little thing that displays 24 hours um, my friends tend to use it but I don't use it as much so anyways um, and you can either click it down here or you can go up here and click because if you go up here, you can also share it on a friend's timeline, which I will show you once um, we get the uh, friend request from the bookmobile. And you can share in a group if you're um, a part of a group. There are a lot of groups that you have to ask to join, and usually there's like administrators and the ones who control the group and all that stuff. And, or you can create your own group. Um, we can do that here in a little bit. Or you can share it in an event if there's like um, an event is usually when you will make an event post on Facebook. It's just to make people aware of something that's going on. So essentially it's just like, you know, a flyer. And um, people can let you know if they're going or not, all that stuff. Or you can share in a private message. So you want to share it to your news feed. All right, now you're going to go right here. You're going to go and hit that post to Facebook. And you will go back because this doesn't really matter it's saying it posted and then you'll go back to your tab and let's refresh the page let's give it a second to catch up and then there you go there is a post about six foods that may not be quite good for you so um, <clears throat> people can like your comment if they like it they can if you hover over the like button you can either like it love it care which is a new feature you can laugh, you can, whoa, you can be sad, or you can be angry, depending on how you feel about it. It's like, oh, bananas, I really love them and cannot believe that they may be bad for me, so I'm angry about it, you know, things like that. And it also let you know who was angry at it. It's your own post, and you're angry at your own post, so, you know, um, but if someone is, um, if one of your friends was like it, and there's, there'll be like a number and the like and you can kind of see who liked it who didn't all that stuff and then people can comment or they can share it which um, I will show you to share from someone else's page to your own page so that was just um, a real quick tutorial on how to post on Facebook um, if you want to edit it after you have um, posted it you can um, we'll come back to that you can edit the post down here you can turn off notifications. Sometimes you'll post something and depending on how many people are commenting, your phone will be going off. And so maybe you just don't want to hear any more about it. Maybe you just don't want to be informed someone has commented. Um, so show and tab will put up in its own little separate thing, little window. So, and then if you want to delete it, you can just hit delete and it'll ask you to verify yes I want to um, delete it and you delete and it is gone it is no longer on your page so that is about posting um, you can see that there's avocados on here there was another post so you, you then you can see what you've posted so far so um, I didn't want to do the unhealthy foods so I decided to keep the funny and relatable tweets about avocados. So, 
All right, so we are going to navigate through Facebook together. I'm going to start on one task and work my way up to a, to various ones. Um, one important one I want to show you is the saved feature. So we're going to build on on that. Um, I find the saved feature on Facebook to be uh, the the most useful one for me. I, I use that one a lot, and I'll go back to it and kind of just see articles or videos things that I really want to really enjoyed or really want to just reference later on so first thing we're gonna do is kind of get some more pay information on our news feed so um, a lot of people like recipes so we're gonna type in recipes um, as you can see I turned on notifications to a post and so you'll see right here I got a comment on that so we're going to go to recipes and we're going to go and hit enter. Okay. So the first page that comes up is tasty. It's a pretty popular one. So we're just going to hit like, we can like it right here, or you can actually click on the page and click liked. Um, you automatically start following it. Um, so if you don't just click and follow this page, but it'll automatically have you follow. And you can send a message or if you want to shop on the store, you can do that. Anyways, we're here because we want to build up our new our new feed and have some tasty recipes show up that we might want to use one day or some information articles. So we're gonna go back to here to our home page, which is our news feed, and, and we're gonna kind of I'm gonna um, refresh this and see if I can get a tasty. There we go. Okay, so here is something. It's a uh, a video on you know ways to recycle food scraps but you you know like oh that's interesting I want to try that one day or I don't have time to actually watch the video but I want to come back to it so because you'll see that once you see something on your newsfeed page and then you refresh it and you're like I'm gonna go back and show this it's, it's hard to find it sometimes because they've already you've already refreshed it so it's thrown an, another set of information at you so we're gonna go right here to the three dots and we're gonna click on it and you'll see right here that you can save video or it'll, if it's a link it'll say save link all that so you'll click that and then what you'll do is you can go right here or if, if you automatically save it you want to go and see if it's there you can click that or if you're you're on your phone you're like where is that article at so you're gonna go right here that I saved so we're gonna go see more and we're gonna go down here it is a purple bookmark with a tag on it you know, called saved so click on it and you will see some of the stuff that you saved I've saved something about the hurricane and and now I've got this on there so you can keep it like that or you can create a collection so if you want to start saving like all your recipes into one thing you can just hit create a collection um, or you can hit new collection right here and we'll just put recipes create okay so I've got um, a recipes collection, a videos collection, and I can create another one. All right, so what you'll do is you will go to the post that you have saved. These are not recipes, but we're still going to add it. So click Add to Collection, and we're going to put it in recipes. And it's saved, as you can see, one item in there. So um, just like I said, it, this is probably the most useful feature on Facebook in my opinion um, but now we're gonna go back because there's a couple other things I want to show you all right so let's see let's say you see a post and you just really don't like it um, there's a couple things you can do so just like if we were gonna save it you can hide the post if it's just you just don't want to see this particular post click it it won't show it um, if the person or the page, the group or whatever is posting things that you're just kind of tired of seeing but you don't want to go all the way and unfollow or unfriend, you can just click snooze and you won't see any of the posts for 30 days. Kind of give you like a little break. Um, you can just go ahead and unfollow so you don't have to unlike it or unfriend. You can just unfollow so you don't have to see any more. Um, or you can report it. Um, when you report it is anonymous um, 
so you know they'll just get like a um, stern post from Facebook telling them that something that they posted was offensive or upsetting or whatever and eventually they after so many they will go to Facebook jail and could lose their Facebook account so you know you can also copy the link if you want to like quickly send it in a message or something like that okay this is also an important feature um, you'll see that a lot of times um, in particular for instance in particular like group pages um, someone will post something looking for information and if you are kind of interested to find out the answer but you don't want to have to keep going back and trying to find the post you can just click turn on notifications for this post so every time someone comments you will get notified um, you'll see sometimes in the comment section people will just put like a dot and that's them trying to insert themselves into the post so that they can get notifications um, but this is just that way you don't have to just have a bunch of comments with dots in it you can just turn on the notification and every time someone comments you'll get notified so you can go back and be like oh here's the answer okay cool so that is um, our little bit on how to kind of clear up your pages you know how to kind of um, clear up your newsfeed if you want to see things if you don't want to see things if you know so um, 